Do you ever wake up and wonder what the hell am I going to wear today? It's not like you don't have any clothes, your wardrobe is full, but you never know what to wear. Well, in today's video, I will show you my way to create a good outfit every time and how I build my wardrobe. I think I'm at a point in my fashion journey where I know what I like, I know where I want my style to go, but I still don't have the money and the knowledge to get there. So I'm slowly building a more personal wardrobe with items I like and I know I can wear with almost everything I already have. I'm gonna divide this video into three main parts. The first one will be the most important part of an outfit in my opinion pants. The second part will be tops and at the end I will show you some good examples of outfits I can build with these items and you'll quickly realize that I'm basically a professional outfit repeater. But let's not get carried away too quickly. Let's start with pants first. Pants are in my opinion probably the most important part of an outfit. If you want to learn more about pants and why I consider them that important, you can go watch my last video, I go more into details. I love white pants. I have big ties, so baggier pants are definitely my go-to. Here are my three most worn pair of pants. My Dickies, my Urban Renewal and my Bershka jeans. You can see all of them in my last video too. But I have some new additions to my collection thanks to the sponsor of this video, Black Taylor. Black Taylor is a clothing brand specializing in cargo pants. Their items are high quality with original designs and some really interesting pieces. They have something for everyone, tequero streetwear or even casual wear. They were nice enough to send me 5 items which I'll show you in this video. 3 pair of pants and 2 tops. You can use my promo code for a 10% discount or use the link down in the description, that will help the channel a lot. So we have 3 new pairs of pants and they also send me a jacket and a shirt. These two are definitely items I'm not used to wearing but we'll try to style them at the end of the video. We have a more traditional pair of black cargo pants, the W1 cargo pants in black. The details and the quality of this pair are amazing. Then we have another pair of cargos, the W5 cargo in dark brown. I love the way you zip them up. It's interesting and you're sure to stand out with these. And we have the last pair, which is also a cargo, but looks more like track pants in my opinion. The W2 cargo in twilight. Probably the most comfortable pair of pants I've ever owned, to be honest. And I think these are the perfect pair for the summer. Now I need to tell you you should definitely size down with these items because they are massive. I love wider pants, I am not complaining. But just be careful, if you want to buy one of the wider items and even the tops, size down. That's just my recommendation. Even with a size down or even two sizes down, some of the items are still a bit long. I'm mainly talking about the track pants and the shirt I got. It's a size S, but it's still a bit long. Another small detail, most of the pants, well at least the ones I got, don't have belt loops. The track pants do have belt loops, but the other two do not. You'll see that for the black cargo pants it's not that annoying but for a dark brown it may be a bit annoying so if you're like me your weight changes throughout the year because or thanks to the gym well not having belt loops can be really annoying because well i cannot wear them throughout the whole year if my body changes a lot which will i am currently losing some weight i don't know if they will still fit me as well in the next few months but other than these two small details the pants are amazing <music> To be completely clear, I won't talk about all kinds of tops, but one that's been a game changer for me, oversized tees. Put these long sleeves, jackets and all, I'll show you some in the next part of the video with the outfits, don't worry. So what makes a great tee in my opinion? Well it has to be oversized with drop shoulders. And a mock neck is definitely a plus in my opinion, because it adds something interesting to a simple oversized tee. I don't really care if the tee is cropped or not. I do like a cropped look, but you'll see later that I don't actually mind if it's not. Most of the time I tuck my shirts in my pants, either way, to have that cropped look. The Uniqlo Airism oversized tee is obviously an amazing choice. I have four of those. I also have this René Basset oversized white tee that they sent me from my last video. I genuinely love it. I have the staples, white and black, and then a red or maroon one and a grey one. They are perfect all year round. You can just add a layer and you're good to go, as you'll see in the next part. You can quickly realize the pattern in my shows of clothing. It's like Rico and said, this is a uniform, something you will gravitate naturally towards. And once you find your uniform, it makes it so much easier to choose new items when you're shopping or just to be happy with the items you already have. You won't need as many clothes as you may think. Oversized tees and oversized pants are my go-to. It's simple, it's effective, but how I style it is personal. I'm trying to add as much personality as I can in those simple items to create my own style. 
now here are some examples of how I style these items. Because of course, the point is to actually style them, like I just said. If you just wear them casually, you just put the T and the pants together, it's not the same as if you're putting a little bit more effort, as you'll see. Those small touches can go a long way. I won't talk about accessories today, I'm thinking of doing a video completely for my accessories and how I accessorize my outfits to make them even better. Let me know down in the comment if you're interested in seeing that. My way of styling my clothes is really simple, but I love it and it works for me. First of all, you have a simple way. Your t-shirt tucked in a nice pair of pants and a nice pair of shoes. Here I wear my Zara loafers. Like everything else in this video, all the items or alternatives will be linked down in the description. Another simple way is the one I showed in my last video too. A good oversized black hoodie from René Basset that your girlfriend will wanna steal. Not that I can relate to that. A white tee under, the same grey pants and a pair of loafers chill, casual, but smart at the same time. Let's switch the hoodie for a long sleeve. Here's the Uniqlo mock neck long sleeve in green. I crop it using rubber bands. Now let's bring out the bad boys. Let's get ready to go to war. Here we have the dark brown cargo with a gray t-shirt and a cropped cargo jacket in top from Black Taylor. I'm also wearing a pair of black boots from Bershka. I'm ready for a Travis Scott concert. I think I have a chance of surviving one at least in this outfit. There are so many pockets, I could fit my whole room in it. What? Not enough pockets you say? Alright, here's the single vest layered utility shirt also from Black Taylor. I love the details on this. It's definitely not the easiest item to style and it's a bit long in my opinion. Look how this part can be moved and the item can be worn in different ways. It's really heavy for a shirt, it's more like a jacket and I'm also wearing the black cargo also from Black Taylor. Here's another fit I really like, same black cargos, but this time with my pair of loafers, my hoodie, a white tee and my famous leather jacket from my first video. This is for colder days obviously, but here in Belgium it's still ugly outside even though it's almost the end of June. And for the last outfit, the track cargo pants. Just a simple white tee and a pair of sneakers. I think you don't need more than this. The pair is already crazy enough in my opinion. Add some accessories, glasses, bags, jewelry, watch. I will do a whole nother video just for that. Let me know down in the comments if you're interested in seeing that video. This was my way of creating a good outfit. It's not the best, but it works for me and I feel comfortable in my clothes when I do it. I think that's the most important part. I feel comfortable and good in my clothes. And this way of doing and my items have the potential to evolve with time. I hope this video helped some of y'all, or at least you found it entertaining, I don't know. Thanks to Black Taylor for sponsoring this video and sending me these amazing products. Make sure to use my code if you purchase anything from their website or use the link down in the description. That will help the channel a lot. Thank you for staying till the end, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, share if you did, and subscribe and turn on the notifications if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram, I'm really active there, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!